Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a search bar in your application. So open up your Xcode, create a new project, and then create a single view application. And I'm going to call this one search um, tutorial. And I'm going to use a storyboard and I'm going to use automatic reference counting. Click next and create your project. And in the storyboard, I'm just gonna have um, two things. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a tape table view and a search search bar. So um, I'm gonna add a search bar at the top, and I'm gonna add a table view. All right. So my table view will go right here, and. I'm gonna make my necessary connections. So the search bar is gonna be an outlet. So just control click and drag it onto here and I'm gonna call this one um, my search bar. And my table view, I'm gonna call it my table view. And they're both gonna be outlets and that's it. In this one, we're gonna have no um, no actions. All right. So save my storyboard, and then let's go to our to our view controller .m. So we've just made the connections in our view controller header files. Now onto our view controller implementation files. So I'm gonna have a couple of instance variables. I'm gonna have an ns mutable array for I'm gonna say uh, total array, and I'm gonna have another ns mutable array call um, call filtered filtered data, not total array. Let's call it total total data or total strings, and I'm gonna have a filtered strings. All right, let's call it that. Um, so the idea of this is the total strings will be uh, will be the set of all of my um, all of my strings and filter strings is when a user types something in the search in the search box um, right here the strings is going the strings is going to be filtered out according to what the user types and I'm also gonna have a I'm also have a I'm gonna have a bool called is filtered. So the is filtered is gonna default to um it's gonna default to no. So I'm gonna set it to yes when there's some some sort of text in the in the search bar. So what I'll do is in my view did load, I'm gonna actually let's go back to our header file because we need to we need to do UI search bar delegate, UI table view delegate, and data source. All right, so add those at the end of your um, at the end of your header file. UI search bar delegate, UI table view data source, and UI table view delegate. And from in our view did load, we're gonna set our delegate. So self dot my search bar dot delegate equals self self dot my table view dot delegate equals self self dot my table view dot data source equals self all right and from there we're going to we're going to um alloc and initialize our array so let's just say total strings equals ns mutable array alloc oops alloc init and I'm gonna init it with some objects right now, so I'm just gonna say um, I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm just gonna do up to seven. Seven. All right, so that's my um, that's my total strings, and my and my ar array of total strings has contained some um, 
contains seven strings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Need a bracket here. So that's my that's my total strings, and then um, then from there we can we can start um, doing our um, table view data source and delegates. So let's do a uh, number of sections in table view. I'm just going to have one section here. Return one. And then I'm going to do a uh, let's define our let's define our search um our search bar delegate method first. All right. So what we do is we say search bar here we need this method text did change this method gets called when um, when the user types something in the text bar right here and when the text changes like for example if a user types a then it calls that method text change and if a user types another letter or like deletes a letter then it calls that method text change text did change I mean alright so text text did change and what we're gonna have in here is we're gonna have a if if search if search text which is the argument passed in right here the string if search text dot length equals equals zero that means there's nothing in the there's nothing in the in the search bar then we have to set is filtered equals no or else that means the length is not zero that means there is something in the text so we set is filtered equals yes and we're gonna say um, filtered strings equals ns mutable array alec init because we're going to here we're gonna initialize our filtered string so we can use it and then we're gonna say we're gonna use the fast enumeration for in so for in a string str in in um, in total strings because that's all of our data that we have so we're gonna go through the we're gonna go through the whole array that we have so we're gonna go through each one one by one and we're gonna do ns range name range e name range equals str range of string let's not call this name range let's call this string range string range range of string and the range range of string will be search text because that's what's passing right here range of string and then do options options will be in this case insensitive search so it's gonna search by case and um, it's gonna ignore the case it's gonna search by um, by the, the letters or the numbers but it's just gonna ignore the case and we just say um, if oops If if string range dot location not equals and it's not found, that means if it if it if it finds it if it finds like something that matches matches what the user typed in, then we're gonna add that to our filtered strings. Filtered strings um, add object. And the object that we're going to add is going to be whatever um, whatever this found right here. So we're going to add the objects because we're going through the total strings one by one. And every time we go through it, we go through it as str. So it's checking is str if in the range. If it's, if it's in the range, then we add the objects to our filtered string. So this process is getting filtered out. And from there, um, after that, I'm gonna reload my table view. So self dot my table view. Um, well, let me just stick to one notation. Self dot my table view dot reload data. 
All right. Oh, this can't do that. I do need the brackets there. Self dot table view dot reload data. Oh, don't need it here, but need it right there. All right. So now we are reloading the data in our table view but what we want to do in our self array index path is we want to use this is filtered right here to see if it's enabled or not as if it's not enabled then we just use the total strings but if it is then we use the filtered strings so um, table view data data source and delegate methods all right so this is one of our table source our data source and delegate method number for row in table view and we're also gonna need another method called number number of rows number of rows let's look for it number of rows in section that's the method that we need so we're also gonna have a we're also gonna have an if else statement so if um if it's filtered, if it's filtered, that means we need to return the number of um, filtered strings. So we say return uh, number of strings is filtered strings count, or else, or else we just return the mm, the what is what do they call it totals total strings yeah or else return total strings count all right so here I don't need to put an else statement because there's already a return in here so it either goes in here or it does this so that means if it ever gets to this point that means it's uh, it's not filtered so we return the whole total strings now we go to our um, cell for row at index path method so do table view and select cell for row at index path and in cell for row at index path we're going to do um, static and a string cell identifier equals cell and then i'm going to have a ui table view cell cell equals table view dq reusable cell with identifier cell identifier and if not cell then cell equals ui table view cell alloc init with style um, ui table view style default reusable identifier cell identifier and we're gonna set the set the text label so cell dot text label dot text actually we're gonna have an if else state we're gonna have an if else statement in here also similar to what we have in our number of rows and sections so we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna check if it's filtered or or if it's not filtered so if it so this time I'm gonna check it different so if it's not filtered then I'm gonna do cell dot text label dot text equals um, self dot actually um, total strings object at index and index path dot row whoops row okay so this way it's saying if it's not filtered then all our cells will be shown from our total strings or else that means it is filtered it is filtered that means that's how we get in the else statement if it is then we do cell dot text label dot text equals instead of using total strings we're going to use filtered strings object that index index path dot row and at the very end we just have to um, return the cell return cell Oh, and we need one. We need one more. Um, we need one more method. Uh, let's see. Search. 
search um, search bar button clicked search bar search button click yep when we do that we're gonna re uh, we're gonna resign the keyboard so self dot my table view resign first responder that says to get rid of the keyboard all right so um, that sh that should that should work so let's run it on our iPhone simulator and see that it works this up all right so at least our our array and our table got populated now we'll see if our search our search methods work so here I clicked and let's say I try to filter out O I start by typing O so these three are the three letters with the I mean three three cells with the O's in it and let's say I do O N then it just filters out one let's try another let's try um, let's try T alright so it filters out two you do the search oops two we do the search and then there's there's our two and three and let's say we do uh, what else um, you can search for six or seven let's do s we do s and it shows our six or seven so from there it looks like our our search is working fine and I think that would be the the end of this tutorial and um, actually let me um, I don't think the search bar is is resigning the first responder so let let me at least get that working and then I'll just that'll be the that would just be the end of this tutorial. So, I mistakenly type my table view. When the search bar button was getting clicked, it wasn't um, going away. So here, I'm gonna try it a little bit better. F, search, dismisses keyboard, still filters. Go back, um, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, that's pretty much what we can filter. So if we do E, there's an E in 1, there's an E in 3, E in 5, E in 7, so it filters out those. So when we type something I didn't find, then it doesn't even filter out anything on the table. Alright, so that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you've learned something new, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.